Buenvenido, Puerto Rico. Here are my favorite places to visit every time I visit Puerto Rico. And they're not in any order, but stay to the end and you will find out what my favorite hidden gem is in this beautiful island. Añasco Tower is the perfect spot to stop and get some beautiful photos and see an amazing sunset on your way to Rincón. The tower was actually locked due to COVID, but David loves to climb, so he got to enjoy the view from way up top. Rincón is a popular tourist town, and I found it to have the most rockiest beaches I've been to on the island, but there was some great snorkeling around. Aguadilla's colorful homes is a sight to see, not only at the bottom, but when you walk all the way to the top, you will see beautiful murals and more houses that were even more beautiful than the last. Cueva de las Golondrinas, which translates to the Cave of Swallows. This is a small hidden beach where the swallow bird lives inside the cave. We went during the high tide at nighttime, so the water was pretty rough. I suggest going early morning and wear water shoes because you don't want to cut yourself on a sea urchin or the rough rocks. Cueva del Indio is the coolest cliff that looks like an alien planet when you're walking on it. And the park ranger even allows you to climb into a small hole on the side of the cave and go all the way down. You can look up and enjoy the views, but just make sure you're wearing the correct shoes so you can get back up. Yaku's colorful homes are painted by the same artist from Aguadilla, but walking up the town is way more steep than Aguadilla. They both, though, are beautiful in their own way and worth a visit when passing Ponce. We are driving in the middle of um, Puerto Rico, in the middle of the island, trying to get to one of the rainforests, but unfortunately the roads have been blocked or we can't go with our tiny little car. So we took another road and now it's blocked again from a landslide, a mud landslide that probably happened during a hurricane and there is no more road left. <laughs> Las Cajas Waterfall. It's smaller than one of my favorite waterfalls, Cajalandia. 
in San Sebastian. We didn't get to visit that one this time, but this was a nice change. It was relaxing, beautiful, and a little bit of people. Perfect to swim in after a nice long day. Woohoo! This was a bucket list cross off. I I'm so excited that I got to do. I've never been ziplining before, and neither have my friends, so we all got to experience Toro Viende Adventure Park for the first time together. This is where you'll find the third world's largest zip line at 4,745 feet long, 843 feet high, and reaching 60 miles per hour. And you'll notice my reaction at the end of this clip of how excited I was. So needless to say, this is definitely a experience you need to put on your next adventure. the moment you all been waiting for, my number one hidden gem. Cabo Rojo Lighthouse is no secret, but it is what you will find beyond the lighthouse that is so magical. After making your way all the way to the top of the lighthouse, you can stand over the cliff, do a little meditation, and then you can pick to go to the right or left side first. I suggest going to the right where you can find a bunch of rock formations, things you can climb, cool caves, and if you have snorkeling gear, you can head out and go all the way around the cliff into the ocean where you were first looking down from the lighthouse. Then make your way to the left side of the lighthouse and you will find Playa Sucia. And this beach is anything but dirty. When you get to the beach, drop your stuff and make your way to the other side where you can find even more amazing views of the lighthouse at the top of the small mountain, and you can even go to the caves where you will find a bunch of seashells. I hope you enjoy this video as much as I love creating it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!